Hi, my name is Kevin Lamping. I want to show you uh, the use and add methods which are new to YUI 3. Um, they weren't there previously in YUI 2 and they're pretty core to getting up and running in YUI 3. So let's take a quick look at what YUI is. YUI is the Yahoo user interface library. We're specifically looking at version 3. It's an open source JavaScript and CSS framework. It's got a modular architecture, so it's scalable, fast, robust, all the great things that you want in a JavaScript library. And uh, it's also got a really active community. A bunch of the developers are on Twitter, and you can reach out to them and get really great responses uh, very quickly. So let's get it started off with a simple example. Here we've got a button that says uh, 2 by 2 um, Here's the HTML for it. Nothing simple, just an ID on there and uh, a, a button. Uh, here's the JavaScript we're going to run. Nothing, nothing too complex, um, but we'll take a look at what it does in just a minute. First, we want to see what happens when I click two by two. Okay, it changes the hands of blue. Any Firefly fans out there will uh, instantly recognize this. So let's get back to the code, and uh, we're going to step through what is going on here because it's it's a simple interaction. But um, you see, we've got a few lines of code here to to walk through. So the first one is our YUI statement, our, our call to the YUI function. What does this do? Well, it, it returns a YUI object. It does some behind the scenes work. I don't want to get into too many details, but basically it returns a new object, uh, kind of a, a built up YUI object that you can customize yourself. And we'll talk about customizing later, but um, just a simple object that has uh, several methods available to it. Um, you can see here, we, can, we could store the YUI function call as a variable um, for later use, but in our example we're just going to do a straight callback on that object that gets created. The callback that we do is the use function. Um, this is the first half of our presentation is what does the use function do? Um, it takes in several uh, parameters and um, let's look at what those parameters are. The first set are the modules you want to load. In our case they were node and event and then the very last parameter that you pass in is a callback function to execute once those modules are loaded. Um, you see I say one to n modules, that means that you can load just one module, you can load 20 modules, you can load 40 modules, although that'd probably be bad for performance. When you're calling modules you just pass those in as strings. Um, think of them as uh, kind of like keys. Um, you pass in a key to say hey I want to load this module. And then your callback function again, that, that's a function, pretty simple. So taking a look, we're passing two strings, node and event, and then one function, which is our callback function. The callback function has a single argument. Uh, in our case, we, we call it y. You don't have to call it y. You can call it anything you want to. But for convention's sake, you'll see y very often. Uh, so what is y? Well, I mentioned the YUI object earlier. That has different properties, array, environment, use, like, I'm, like we're using here. Say we want to add more to that. So we want node available and all the properties in node and all the functions in node. So I want the one function, the, the all function. And then I also want the event um, object, so on, detach, all the good event functionality out there. So when you call the use statement, you are asking YUI to load these modules and it attaches these modules to that Y object that gets passed into your callback function. So that's how we load modules and that's how we use them. Um, so back here you see we're calling y.1. So we've loaded these modules into that object that gets passed into our callback function. So let's go through step by step this exact code. So again I mentioned we call yui, then we call use, we pass in um, the modules we want to load, we pass in our callback function taking in one argument, this is where we get to actually using the code. Uh, we want to get one element with an ID of Firefly. The great thing about the one function is that it takes a CSS selector versus document.getElementById. Here we save that element as river, um, and then we say on click of river, we're going to run another callback function. Here we set the text to hands of blue. That's our basic example, um, and it works. So now we want to get to how can I create my own module? How, how can I create something that I can call in the use statement? YUI add is the other half of this. Um, it's used to create modules. Here you see we're going to create one called my mod and we're going to assign uh, a property. And then once we have our module added, we use it in the use function. 
um, just calling that same string, that same key of my mod. Um, YUI add and YUI use are very similar, uh, but there is one big difference between them, and that's you can see it here. For add, we don't call the YUI function, it's already on the YUI object, but for use, we have to call the function. And there's a good reason behind that. I won't get into the details though. Let's try it out. Here we have one bit of JavaScript code. We're going to add my module. We're going to attach a new property to the Y object. And then we are going to call my mod and alert that property. Hey, look, it, it showed up. Okay, so we've done this in the same file. Now we want to separate our files because that's the whole goal of modules is to have them in separate files. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we're going to call the same, same function and everything. Um, this is a little bit different. Um, in here, instead of assigning a property, we're calling a function instead. And then we're going to take a configuration object that's going to have two properties, a source node to attach itself to, and then a name to call. We're saving that as greeter.js. Uh, we've got a new one called app HTML. And in this one, we've got a button. We're loading the core YUI JavaScript. And then we're calling the use statement. We're asking for our key greeter. Um, then we're going to call greet, and we're going to pass in our configuration object with a source node of a class of target, and then we're going to call world. So let's run that script. Uh, we went and run it, and here's our button. We we'll click greetings, but nothing happened. So why didn't this work? Well, I mentioned that we moved the JavaScript to a new file. YUI doesn't know where that new file is, so even though you're asking for a key, YUI doesn't know what that key means. So what we're going to do is pass into the YUI function the definition of that key. Here we're going to say we're going to load greeter, and we here's the file path, greeter.js, and this requires node and event. So I'm just going to copy this, and then go back to my HTML. And you see here, um, I'm going to paste it into the call of YUI. This is the main reason why we're calling YUI as a function instead of with YUI add, you're just using it on the object that's already there. So let's go ahead and run it this time and go back to our button and click greetings. And now you see it says hello world. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or corrections, you can tweet me at klamping. I look forward to any feedback you have.